I've been looking forward to this day for years. I'm so excited to show you 3Shape Unite. We have created a truly magical treatment platform with new innovations, new technologies, and delightful user experiences. When you log in, this is the first thing you see. And we made this look very familiar to the current users, the thousands of happy users who didn't want to change everything at once for them. So if you want to get started and you want to start a patient, you press here, you can, press, you can make a new patient, you press new, Eskil, or you can uh, search for a patient here, or you can choose a patient from the list. So now I'm just going to choose a patient from the list. I'm going to pick Brad. Now what you see on the right side now is the media library of Brad. That means it's a place where you store digital media, and this can be generated either from the uh, workflows or imported to the uh, media library. So once it's here, you can use it in the workflows in many different ways. And I will get back to that. On the left side, you see the cases. So this is the historic cases created from earlier workflows. You could see it on the list. But if you look closer, you see that there's a small icon in front of the cases. And this icon almost looks like an app icon, as you know them. And this is why the reason is we have created workflows into app-based workflows. I will show you how it works. So if you press new here, it opens up this window, basically saying, what are you doing today? And then it's app-based. And what is an app? It's the next natural step in your workflow. You just click it and you start it. It's very, very easy and intuitive to use. We have apps that we have created, three shape apps. We have apps other companies are creating. We have uh, providers of different treatments. You have apps where you first scan and you send it out of the clinic for example, to a lab, and you have apps that are more doing some digital workflow on your computer. And yeah, this is really, truly a revolution. So I go out and visit the first users, and it's amazing what I see. So the dentists, they just love it. It's super easy for them to use, and they're also discovering new treatments. But the best is they spend now more time with the patients, and they also engage the patients in these digital workflows. This is just really magical to see. Okay, let me just show you uh, some examples on what to do. So, uh, for example, how does it work? Let me show you how to scan, okay? So Brad comes in again. Hi, Brad. Now it's time for your scanning. Look how easy it is. It only takes a few seconds to get started with scanning. I choose on the list. I choose Brad. I press new and I press scan. Now the software is opening our scanner application and it has never been this easy to scan before. But not only that, we also took the scanner software and we improved it. We made it more easy to use. Okay, let me show you something else. So this was scanning. What about sending something to the lab? That's very important. So that is easy as well. I just press new. The next natural step in my workflow, finding the lab. Here it is. I just press the lab. Now. We're generating an order to the lab. We're opening it up an order form where you can fill up what you want to order for the lab. And I think in 3Shape, we believe, and in my design team, we believe that user experiences, it's the whole user journey. It's the whole flow of all the interactions that have to be easy and delightful. So we took the order form. We took some of the fantastic designers, and they spent a year on the order form trying to make it more intuitive and easy to use. So we're also happy to introduce our new order form the guided order form. So how does it work? It basically says, okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to choose a single unit. Which one? It's a crown. What tooth? Maybe it's this tooth. What about the material? I think it's Emacs. Do you know the shade? Maybe I do. This is the shade. And I save it. Imagine it just takes a few seconds intuitively and easily to fill out an order. Okay. But we also talked about the it's the whole user journey, right? It's not just the order form, it's everything together. So what happens, for example, after the order form? We also thought about that. So we have our giant install base in the labs and our software technologies in the labs, and we managed to take that together with the software technologies in the clinic and make it talk together in a new, beautiful way. So now you can see if I press crown here, now you can see there's a progress bar. You can follow your order and see, for example, in this case, you've sent the order, it is also received, and the lab have accepted the order, and you know when it's coming, so you can plan your work in the clinic. 
And also even more, there's functions. You can open the case and you can go in and, ch and chat with the lab with very deep integrations with the lab. New functionality, we know it might seem small, but it's really big in your daily work. Okay, so let us go back again. So we learned about app-based workflows. There's a tons of opportunities, but let us just look at something else. So if you look to the side here, now we're switching back to the media library. The media library, you will love it. It's in some way the heart of the platform because you store the images here, you can import, and then you can attach it at the exact right time when you need it in your workflows. Imagine Brad, he has five uh, different uh, pieces of media, but if you have a patient with a lot of media, it will might, might be nice to sort it into types. You can press around here, you can sort it. Now it's a CT scan or digital impressions, and it's lighting fast, it's super fast. It's big files, so it has to be fast. And then you see here, now you have a CT scan. So if I press it, we build intelligence into the platform, new ways of having intelligence in the platform. We know before, yes, you can start a new workflow, pressing new with all of the options you have. But if you select a scan, in this case a CT scan, it also says maybe you should use it for Implant Studio. It recognizes it, it understands you and suggests the next natural step for you. So if I press Implant Studio, boom, I will go into the Implant Studio application. I can show it again, for example, digital impressions. Here's a digital impression. If I press it, then the system says patient monitoring. Maybe that's what you want to do. And that means if you're browsing your media library, one click away, you can start your workflow. It's like magic. Let me just show you something else. If you want to add more media into your media library, it's made easy with import function. So this is the normal import Windows environment. It's a place to start. But then we made a new innovative importer function. So you can easily browse the files and you can have a nice and beautiful preview. Let me just find a picture here. You can select it. It also shows you if you have files that are not supported. It says, sorry, these are not supported. And then you can import it. And now the picture appears in your media library. Very, very easy. So again, here you can browse the photos. I'm just only going to look at photos now. And then if I press it, the system is intelligent. It suggests photos. You can use it for these things. And imagine like dentists are very busy. You have very little time between the patients. But you might be curious about smile design. Maybe you've heard about it. You've never tried it. But this makes it easy to try even if you have 60 seconds between two patients. Like if I haven't tried it before, I'm curious. One click. And now I take the picture and put it into our beautiful smile design application. It's opening up. And now it's creating a case, a smile design case, and it's opening up the smile design software. And here, that is quite easy to use. Yeah, anybody can adjust the picture's, picture's uh, brightness, and you move on, and then you just say, okay, next in the workflow. And now you're off designing your smile. You can see you can move these different things around and then easily get started with workflows that you might didn't have the time or sort of the courage to try before. Okay. Let us try something new. So we, Brad has been in the clinic in the demo and we have to let him go. So we'll, let's try a new patient. So in our world of imagining a new patient, right? Let's think about Camilla. Camilla has been up to my clinic before and she's considered to have clear liners. So I made a scan with, with Unite very easily to do a scan. And I took the scan and put it into treatment simulation. And she saw her teeth, how they would move. And she liked it, but she needed to think about it. So now she's back and I will just show you how it works. So I just choose Camilla from the list and Camilla comes in. And of course the media from last time, it's just right in front of me, it's easy accessible. And we talk about the treatment and she says, okay, let's try it out. You know new workflows, you just press new and you choose the workflow you want to do. New and you can choose between different aligner solutions. But in this case, Camilla, let's just try another way around it. As we talked about before, if I choose a digital impression, it suggests different things I can do with it. So I found her impression, it looks good. I just press clear correct and now it is taking the impression. It is launching clear correct. It is making, you can see on the left side, it's making a new case. But now it's packaging the information on Camilla and going out to the cloud to the servers of clear correct. It's also taking the login information and shaking hands with multiple 
advanced APIs and other technologies. And now we're entering the service of ClearCorrect that lives in the cloud. I'll show you how that looks like. Now you're entering the order form of ClearCorrect. You can see it's still in the platform. You can see the small nice icons from the platform, but actually the order form in the middle, it is directly streamed from ClearCorrect servers and is the same online form they use already other places. But for us, the user, it looks like one natural workflow. So we can see it's even pre-filled information in from, from Camilla. And if oh, I just choose here and if I go next, it is taking the scans I already had, I selected, and it's inserted them into the order form. And then it also says, okay, if I want to attach more files, Imagine normally if you have to attach a file, you need to find it in a folder on your computer or have it in a USB stick or get it from somewhere. But here, if I press, now imagine I'm still in the order form in the cloud. If I press one finger here, now I'm back into the platform. I can choose, I want to attach the pictures. If I press select, boom, I'm back into the order form in the cloud. Then X-ray, sure, I one click, I'm back into the media library. One click, I have attached the media into the order form. This is really fusing different modalities in software for the user to be one easy to use, magical experience. So now I filled in these things. I'm just gonna move on here, scroll down and say this looks good, next. And now I enter into the order form that ClearCorrect controls. FreeShape doesn't touch the order form. This belongs to, to ClearCorrect because it's their treatment. So I press next. It will also ask me different things in the order form, maybe I don't want to move these teeth. And I just move on next. And Camilla is still in the chair, remember that, we're just talking to her. This only takes a minute to do. I press yes, yes and yes. And I submit the order. Now it's taking the full document with the details and the different files from your computer and packaging together and creating an order. And it's, it's a, it is accepted and it's ready to go. Camilla, thank you, you can go home now. The order is all fine and you know, let, let's, I look forward to seeing you next time. So Camilla left the clinic, she's happy, the dentist is happy. But um, what if you just wanna check the case? Maybe you think, did I attach the right x-ray? Let me show you, I find Camilla. I can see now a clear correct case right here. And if I press, there's a beautiful preview. And if I press open, now it goes out in the cloud again, doing the handshake with the multiple APIs logging in and taking the order and showing it right in front of the dentist inside of Unite. Now the case is opening up, here it comes, and I can just review it again if I want to, and I can just say, yeah, X-ray, is it the right picture? Let me press it. Yes, it is the right picture. And I can also see the progress. If I go back, I can also see how the order moves forward and the new things that are happening to the order. So now we started Camilla on a clear liner treatment and I'm sure she will love it. So we have all these fantastic apps. You can start multiple different types of workflows. But how do you get new apps? How, where, do they, where do they come from? And I'm gonna show you that today. So if I press open here, open store, it goes into what we call the Unite store. You can see it's sort of like a black theme. Everything turns black. And in some way you're leaving the normal software and you're going out to shop or out to discover new great content. So here you can see all apps, you can browse the apps that we, 3 ship, the apps that we are doing. You can go into categories, for example, clear liners or surgical guides. But here you can, today I'm just gonna demo labs. So imagine the collaboration between a lab and a clinic, it's just very crucial. And, but it is a little bit difficult for some to discover new labs. And we try to make the whole process of discovering labs, working with them, integrating it into your work much easier. So we almost see labs like launched as an app. And this is something we call labs as apps. And you see here, for example, I wanna install a new app. I browse around, I click this one, looks interesting. It is in Denmark, family owned, sounds good. And I read about it. I can also go to the website or I'm just gonna see the photos. Yeah, they do have a nice looking uh, lab scanner. Uh, so that sounds good, a three chip scanner, and then I move on. And then I think, hmm, okay, I'm gonna give them a try. I press install, I could, if I want, write a short message to them, and then I just install it. And now if I go back, 
I'll show you what happened. TH Lab, if I go back into my launching, launching of my apps, it's just going to install it a second. I go back here, I press new, and you can see now it appears here. It's right here. If I press it, it starts the order form, the guided order form you saw it earlier, and then you're off to start wonderful workflows and order great stuff from the lab. But let's say, yeah, okay, they're pretty good, but maybe, maybe you want to try something else. Like you can also say, okay, uh, the labs here. Um, you might say, okay, I wasn't completely satisfied with their work. I just press uninstall, and now they're already gone. It doesn't appear anywhere in your software. I'm going to try Toothmark Lab. They are, sounds pretty good to me. They also have a nice video. And then again, I'm just going to install it. If I want to write a comment, that's fine. And boom, now you're ready to work with Toothmark Lab. It is that easy. It is so easy to use. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me today to see the magic we can do with Unite. We believe this is going to be a revolution and we look forward for you to trying it.